Okay. We're, we're rolling. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, straight face. Why do you think your dad doesn't drive? Because he can't. <laughs> um, married? Well, I'm actually not married, so I can't say that, so oh, I'll start sorry. again. <laughs> I'm James, I'm 48 years old. We live here in Annandale, Sydney. I have two children, um, Ella and Harry, uh, my partner, Diane. I'm a career artist and I've never had a licence. What do you think about him wanting to get his driver's licence now? Um, I think it's just a bit strange because, I don't know, he's just kind of old, so I've never <laughs> seen really anyone <laughs> learn to drive that old. Well, I've never learnt to drive and I, th I think my family find this really funny, but um, one of the reasons is because my brother and father were always fixing cars when I was growing up, so I just had this thing that if you had a car, you had to fix it. My big brother just goes driving licence, so I thought mine might be next. And then I've lived in London and I've always lived close to the city, so I, I've just got used to using public transport. Every one of my friends had their licence on the dot of pretty much 16 and I just had basically drivers. Then I did a lot of overseas travelling and you, when you're overseas generally you don't drive. And it's really only reached a crunch point in the last few years with the kids getting older and the, the, the sort of Saturday sport run around, you know. My partner is jack of having to do all the driving. It's time, you know, basically I've been told. It's interesting as, as someone who's, you know, a 50 year old who's never learnt to drive, I find um, I'm a little bit terrified about it because it's a bit, you know, it's the old saying, teaching an old dog new tricks. But also, you know what, I think sometimes you can teach an old dog new tricks. So I'm sort of, I'm a bit excited about actually pushing myself in a different direction. So it'd be, I think it's going to be interesting, though scary. I've been with James for nearly 20 years and I've had to do all the driving. So it's gotten very tedious at times, especially if you're driving up the coast for eight or 10 hours. It will be really weird because I'm used to mum sitting in the driver's seat and dad sitting in the um, seat next to it. I think I'll be a little bit worried. <laughs> it's interesting, since he's gotten his L's, he's become a bit of a backseat driver because he knows the road rules. So uh, we'll see how he feels when he actually gets behind the wheel and learns how to drive. Um, at the moment I do swimming lessons and it's annoying because my mum has to always get taxis to get to the swimming pool. Sometimes his relatives come and stay with us and they need to go to the airport at 6am so that's something that he can take over from now on. <laughs> Good luck Dad! Hope you do a great mum. Please don't crash. So how are you feeling first day? Hey look, I'm a little nervous, but right. I'm really looking forward to it. We're, we're not on Parramatta Road, are we? If I told you, you would be going. Wait on. Oh, we are. Is it exciting for you? It's, it's terrifying for me. Congratulations, you're in the driver's seat. Yeah. <laughs> Good, and foot on your brake, just start. <laughs> yeah, they're very powerful, aren't they? They're very powerful, I was waiting for that.